So can you just start with your name and age, please? My name is Sonia and I work here in the dive center since four years in uh, Anantara Kihava. Cool. And uh, when did you start diving? I was started diving. Oh, now I need to calculate even. Uh, 28 years ago. And how did you start diving? Like what made you start diving? Uh, on vacation, actually, we went for snorkeling. We went mm -hmm. to a nice place uh, for snorkeling and that was in Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. And then we saw all the underwater water life and all these fishes, the corals. And of course, we were interested. There was a diving school as well. So we got some information and then, yeah, I, we decided or I decided to do open water diver course. And then I got kind of hooked mm -hmm. and I was fascinated from the underwater world. And then on the two years uh, later, we went again somewhere else on a holiday and then I did the advanced and so on and so on. Uh, it got and then I ended up as a dive instructor. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So the next question is more serious. So have you noticed like a big change in the corals over the past few years? Yes, I can say so. Uh, I'm actually in the Maldives since uh, 12 years as an employee working in the Maldives, but I have been here as a guest many years ago. That was more than 20 years ago when I came first time to Maldives and explored uh, diving. And I can say, yes, there's a big change. Uh, and can you just describe that change a little yeah. bit? Uh, we have uh, problems or pollutions and especially also rising water temperature. Mm -hmm. We had in 2016, one of the really, really most severe uh, El Nino, which is, as I said, the water temperature rising. We had on a 20 meter depth, like 30 degrees Celsius water oh, wow. temperature, okay. which is, uh, of course, uh, yeah, very, much. very bad, yeah. too much for the corals. Uh, we had a severe bleaching all over the country and lots of, I would say, 90% of the reef, especially the shallow ones, they died. So then what was done? Uh, actually, there, of course, the corals still have also their babies and mm -hmm. over the years, uh, it recovered a bit okay. but of course this will take a long time yeah and then depends uh, depends what future will bring if mm -hmm. we have another really really severe el nino or the water temperature rising coming then i think it will start again whatever grew by now and whatever we do uh, to somehow recover the reefs uh, will be again lost mm -hmm. and uh, it will start from zero again and how does this like impact the animals? It does impact the animals because most of the reef fishes uh, in the Maldives, mm -hmm. they, they really need the corals because the corals is their shelter, it's their hiding place, it's uh, as well uh, nutrition they get, some food they get from the corals. There's a lot of fishes uh, which really depend on the corals. They are nagging on the corals. They're getting a lot of uh, minerals and this kind of things. Okay. So yeah, they live together in symbiosis actually. Okay. So. Last few questions. Yeah. Are there any like specific pollutants that like severely affect um, the, uh, the pollutions? I would say is uh, the plastic for sure, which mm -hmm. uh, is international worldwide known. Um, the microplastic as well, uh, now since we have the COVID-19, there's a lot of uh, rubber Masks. gloves, the mask as well, yeah. floating in the sea. But nevertheless, I mean, there's a lot of boat traffic as mm -hmm. well. So this definitely What's like the helps. biggest pollutant? It's definitely the plastic. Plastic, yeah. okay. Yeah. And how has this been on the rise since you've like been in Maldives? Like, when was there like massive increase yes, one year or there's a massive increase because when i came to maldives the first time there was hardly any plastic here because uh, the islanders they didn't know much plastic here they were you know surfing food in banana leaves and this kind of things and everything was natural they didn't have any shopping plastic bags it, it just simply didn't exist and then over the years, the plastic came to Maldives as well because everything is easier. It's a one 
time use and then you throw it and it's easy, it's cheap, but it's uh, very, very bad for the environment. And lastly, what can like an average person do? An average person definitely can help with a lot of things, uh, just not use any plastics. There are shopping <laughs> bags which you can reuse whenever you go shopping. Mm -hmm. uh, that is one thing for sure. And then as well, be careful with the waste. Don't throw it in the sea. There is dustbins. Wind is another, um, how to say, effect uh, when you keep things on the table because we have we are in the sea here. There's always a breeze going, so whatever you keep, it will be taken by the wind and it will just float mm -hmm. into the sea. And just keep your things safe, whatever is outside. And uh, yeah, instead as well uh, of using sunscreen, brush guard would help as well because sunscreen is another chemical which goes in the uh, water with a lot of tourists okay yeah a few things cool that's it thank you very welcome